Hi, I'm Jason, and I'll be the new face of TouchMix Training. One of the coolest features about the TouchMix is the ability to control your mixer wirelessly using an iOS or Android device to either mix away from the console itself, give monitor mixes to the band, or just add a second control screen to your mixing setup. But when you are running your TouchMix in large spaces with big crowds, you are bound to encounter lots of interference from other Wi-Fi in the room. Cell phone interference, competing radio frequencies, you name it. In these cases, we always recommend using an external Wi-Fi router instead. In this video, we will show you how to easily configure your TouchMix with your new third-party router. Here's what you need to get started. Your TouchMix, a standard Wi-Fi router, and an Ethernet cable. If you're using a TouchMix 8 or 16, you'll also need a USB to Ethernet adapter to bridge the Ethernet cable to the available USB port, as these models do not have an active Ethernet port. You can find a list of recommended adapters on the QSC website. Make sure to unplug that dongle before you begin. I'll be doing this demonstration on the TouchMix 30 Pro, which has a built-in Ethernet port. First, open up your new router. Many routers will work properly right out of the box. If your router requires initial setup, proceed according to the manufacturer's directions. A lot of the Wi-Fi connection problems reported by TouchMix users are related to non-standard or custom configurations of the router. Unless you are a networking wizard, which I am definitely not, we strongly recommend that you leave your router settings at their default values. And if you're using an existing Wi-Fi router that's not fresh out of the box, it's best to reset that router just to make sure you have cleared any unsavory custom settings. Once you've completely unpackaged your router, plug it in and power it on. Once it's powered up, plug your ethernet cable into one of the LAN ports on your router and connect the other end to the ethernet port on the TouchMix. Do not, I repeat, do not use the internet or network port. This port is expecting a connection from a modem to gain access to the internet. That's not what we're doing here. This is the number one problem we solve in TouchMix support land, so don't do it. For our connection, all we need is simple device-to-device -device communication. Now, plug in and power up your TouchMix 30. Once the mixer has fully powered up, press the menu button and go to Network Setup. Select Wired for the network type and Auto IP address for the wired network setting. Then press Apply. Once a successful connection has been established with the router, you will get a prompt that says Wired Ethernet Connection Operational. And the connection status on the Network Setup screen should read Connected. So far so good? Now, on your iOS or Android device, open the Wi-Fi settings and connect to your router. From the factory, most Wi-Fi routers will have a unique network name and password, which you can usually find either on a sticker on the router itself or in the user manual. Once connected to the router on your device, launch the QSC TouchMix app. If the app shows disconnected in red in the upper right-hand corner, press the menu button, go to network, and select your mixer from the found mixers list and press select. The last step is to give your device remote access permission. On the mixer, press menu and select remote control. In the Devices window, select your device and use the access control switches to give your device the desired access. Pretty simple, right? Thanks for watching, and we'll see you next time.